The following video might not be suitable for everyone. Viewers discretion is advised. So Adam lived to be 1,000 years old. Well, short of 50 years, 950, because when he ate the apple, God said he was going to die in that day, and a day to God is a thousand years, so when he died at 950, it was within the first day he ate the apple. Shortly after that, a thousand years later, there was Noah and the flood. Noah had three children. Who survived he had a fourth one that might not have been his that died anyways they were Shem Ham and Japhet Ham got the southern part Japhet got the east and the north and Shem got the middle extending all the way to Spain and to the lands across the ocean while Japhet had all the north and Ham had the south now, the children of Ham, the Canaanites, saw the lands of the children of Shem, and since they were already cursed, they decided they would steal the land and be cursed even more. Now, meanwhile, there was Alexander the Great. He imprisoned Gog and Magog somewhere in the north. If you look at the moon map for the flat earth, you'll see there's a lot of lands beyond Hyperborea, which you could consider the north. And because we're in an ice ring, somewhere in that mountain range that's covered in ice, we call Antarctica, Dual Carnane made a wall that kept all of them out, and it was made of iron and brass. And this was to keep them out. It was coated in some oil. So Gog and Magog are in the land with no sun beyond Hyperborea, blocked out of the earth. But as the Antarctic is melting, we stand a good chance at them coming in and invading. And um, they are cannibals, and they will wreak havoc in this part of the earth. God said somewhere in the scriptures that in the seventh millennium, which is the 6,000s, the entire earth will be destroyed. There will be... Gog and Magog invade him, who will eat everyone and fuck everything up, but they'll die shortly after, and the people who are left will be the true believers. Then they will rule in peace and justice following God's rules until shortly after their children fall back into transgression and the world will be destroyed. And the final judgment is in. No more reincarnation system, no more chances. No more reincarnation in the seven heavens. Now it's eternal fire. And for the believers, eternal paradise. Jesus was born in 5,345 years after Adam. There is a thousand years added to history around the 600s. That's why there's no archaeological evidence of the 600s to the 900s. Because they just turned the in re in the year of our Lord into a number one. Meanwhile, the Quran was revealed amongst the Tartarians in Euro-Asia, and it fell apart, most likely due to the Hadith. They took another book other than the Quran and turned their backs on it in favor of the Hadith, which is 93 volumes of hearsay and other books containing more hearsay that they use to supersede their document that they claim exclusive rights to, which is the Quran, which is God's word, God's promise to the people. Oh, my people, there is but one God, so repent and turn to him. And his book is the Holy Quran. It explains everything perfectly, as unlike any other book, it's the criteria. If you understand this book and really seriously consider it, listen to it night and day, Put it on audiobook and just get into it. You know, spend at least a couple months, but really the rest of your lifetime listening to it. You will see that this is God's word. 
and Jesus was not God. I'm sorry, it's just idol worship to worship Jesus. He did not die on the cross. That was Judas who took his likeness for snitching on him. Jesus is not God. God is God. Jesus is just a messenger. If he was God, who would win in a power struggle? God shares his powers with no one. He is eternal. He neither rests nor slumbers. But rather, on that day where they say he rested, he took his seat on the throne and took control. Which is easy for him. Everything is easy for him. Now you have the children of Shem, which is the white people. They fell to sexual immorality. And there was a curse on the children of Ham, who are the barbarians. That's why they go to barber shops and bars and spit bars when they rap. And they supersede the white people now. Now the curse of Ham is lifted and the white people are in the hands of the barbarians. Meanwhile, the children of Ishmael, the Arabs, are getting ready to take over the world. All it will take is a small thing like destroying the Kaaba and blaming it on the Americans or some white people and the Arabs will go crazy and take over the world. And it says in the Book of the Bee, God will allow it, not because he loves them. They worship the Hadith. They're wantonly perfidious people. They spurn guidance while claiming virtue. But because the white people, whom he loves more than anyone, the children of Israel, and to be honest, some of the children of Israel are black too, and maybe even Chinese, because Israel had four wives, and two of them were slave girls. But the fact of the matter is, most of them are acting like fools. We're all under control with electromagnetic technology. You put on a pair of rubber shoes and your electricity doesn't flow. You sleep in a bed filled with metal and it sends your energy everywhere. You watch TV, you even masturbate and do things like that. And you don't realize that you're getting possessed with archaeous mites, etheric parasites that are everywhere. I have documented footage of them. They are real. And the people become controlled by these demons and influenced by these demons and become defiantly disobedient. And for this reason, God will unleash Gog and Magog on them. And they will see, as they're being cannibalized, that they were wrong about everything. And this time is when I believe the 144,000 reincarnates of the prophets will take their stand and rule with justice and God's law. But for now, we can just watch this slowly fall apart.